All right, we are back. It is now hour three of the 2018 Best in the Desert Vegas Torino race. This hour of our Fishistics coverage is brought to you by PCI Race Radios, the number one in off-road communication. Go to PCIRaceRadios.com and purchase all of your communications needs, all your GPSs, your Parker Pumpers, your uh, everything you need from helmets, suits, everything for your inside your race car. Buy it from PCI. Don't buy it from anybody else. All right, we got a lot of good news. Sorry, this update is a little bit late. Well, good news for some people, bad news for other people. Um, I was just getting a bunch of text messages sent to me with a bunch of updates. The leaders are uh, are going through the pit at mile 190 right now, which is pit five up at Tonopah, and we have some big changes. So CJ Hutchins had got around and was the lead car. But now at pit five, he just got passed back by Bryce Menzies. So Bryce Menzies in the number seven is now the first car on the road. So as you can see on the tracker here, this is correct. Uh, It has been confirmed. I just posted a video. Check out the page. Bryce is the first car on the road at mile 190. So uh, that's them. Then let's see. We're going to check on the um, 7200s real quick. So uh, we have Jeff Proctor at mile 88. So he's going to be the, uh, I think he's going to be the, it, it's hard to tell with these trackers because they're going all over the place. Um, hang on one second. Let's see. It looks like he's, uh, it looks like he's the first car on the road. So as far as I can tell, that's going to be correct. So mile 88 is the first 7,200 car on the road. We wanted to check on them real quick. So now let's go back and look over here. So leader like we said Bryce Menzies is out front second is CJ Hutchins behind him it's the 41 is trackers now working so Justin Lofton their tracker earlier was not working now it's working so he is going to be the uh the next car let's see I'm getting time splits right now here let me read off this text message for you guys okay so it was seven and then four and a half minutes back was Lofton so it looks like Lofton was the second truck back according to this Uh, Let's see, Rob Mack came in and was in the pit at pit five. So we have Rob Mack pitting at pit five right here. So this this tracker hasn't updated yet. Rob Mack was pitting. Uh, Voss was by next. And then Andy was 10 seconds behind Voss. And then Matney was a minute behind them. So this whole pack right here, uh, Matney's actually up here. He's a little closer. His thing hasn't updated. This whole pack for the lead is is, uh, pretty tight behind Bryce. So Bryce is first on the road. He's going to check out a little bit now. He's got that four-wheel drive, remember? And he has clean air now, first on the road. So let's see what uh, let's see what he can do. Um, somebody just said, Racing Track said on RDC that they fixed the speeds. Okay, so the speeds now should probably be correct. I bet you they had it on kilometers per hour because I know they use these trackers in a lot of the other parts of the world where they use kilometers. So for those of you guys seeing the 200-mile-an-hour speeds earlier, that was actually kilometers. I'm sure they had it set at. So now it looks like uh, we have a little bit more accurate speed information. See, Bryce is doing 77.7 right there. Well, that's a good number for uh, the number seven truck to be doing. So uh, that's a good one for Bryce. All right. Uh, but the real story right now, keep an eye on the number 70. This is Harley Lettner. Harley Lettner is actually leading. Let's go look at the leaderboard. So, okay, this, this Bryce is the first car through mile 200. So we're going to have to wait till these other cars come through 200. But if we go back and look over here, it was uh, Harley. Where is Harley? Number 70. 220. He was uh, actually, it shows he was third now in here. So at mile 150, We had Jason Voss was first, and then 30 or 40 seconds back was the number four, Justin Matney. That's that's Josh Daniel driving that truck right now. So remember, that's Josh Daniel in the four for the first half of the race. He was second, and then Harley was third. So these guys are within 40 seconds of each other for first, second, and third at mile 150. I did have a time split later than that that was around mile 180 that had Kevin Thompson truck, number 70, in the lead. So Harley was actually in the lead. But this is changing, as you can see, every second this is going to change because they're so close. So the top three are super close right now on time. Uh, And then Bryce is first on the road. He's super close on time, too. I mean, look at his time. He was only less than a minute behind Jason Voss on corrected time. So this is a really, really close race. Almost all the trophy truck races nowadays seem like they're really close. And then we have CJ Hutchins here in the class one car who's actually hanging in there and was first on the road for a while. So I don't know if he might have had a flat tire or something, but he did get passed before that pit. So I'm going to guess he had a flat tire, and that's probably how he got around him. So we'll see how the rest of this plays out. 
let's go look at, uh, let's see, let's turn on the, let's go back to the limited classes. So as we said, 7,200, so Jeff Proctor, it looks like he's out in the lead in the 7,200 class. I don't see any other 7,200s ahead of him. The first 6,100, let's zoom out. First 6,100 looks like it's a 6,139. So Householder looks like uh, they started first, and it looks like they are the lead, the lead car on the road. Um, so Householder's first, and we have uh, the Tools in second maybe or it's ryan hancock the alexander truck in second so second and third is right there and then rafael navarro the pete's camp car uh, those guys used to race a class 10 car it looks like they stepped up to a 6100 now so that's cool good for them they are uh um, back there so 6100 looks like householders putting a little gap on the rest of these guys so they have a pretty good run going that's uh that's actually adam driving that truck adam householder and that is adam householder's old trophy truck uh, that he used to race adam householder actually won a race in that trophy truck he won the silver state 300 a few years ago if you guys remember so that that truck is definitely proven and definitely not a a new truck so we'll see how the rest of these guys go uh, let's go look at some of the other classes here. Somebody was asking about 6200 earlier, so let's look and see where the first 6200 car is. Looks like it's a 6206. Um, Nick here looks like he has a pretty good gap on the rest of the 6200 cars. As a matter of fact, they're way back here, according to this tracker. So it looks like that race is uh, pretty far up there now. Uh, let's see. So somebody, another update I just got. CJ Hutchins did pit. So he pit at, at pit five there. I bet you he took a tire. So I bet you he got a flat tire, and that's how Bryce got around him. So let's uh, we'll see if we get any more updates on that. What other classes do you guys want to see? Let's see what other uh, classes. 72 or 7100. Maybe we can go look at, at that class. 7100 looks like the leader is Todd Walter. He's at mile 32, so they're making their way along. I think that's the leader. I don't see another one up here anywhere. So that looks like that's the leader. Let's look at, somebody was asking about the class 10. That's a good one to look at. Let's see, class 10, where are they at? Let's see, it's loading. All right, there's class 10. They're up with the 6100. 60, looks like the leader is the 1001. Uh, Brock, well, he wins pretty much every race he ever does, so not surprising to see him in the lead. He looks like the first car on the road, and then Joel Jepson looks like the second car on the road, the 1084. Then we have a bunch of 10 cars uh, all together right here, you got the 1012, 1003, 1080. So we got quite a few. Blaine Conrad, some of these other guys. Got a bunch of them mixed up right there. So it does look like Brock is running away with it a little bit so far. Not really a surprise to anybody. Let's see, a lot of people asking about the UTV class. So let's turn off class 10 here for a minute. Let's go look at the UTV class. Which UTV class would you guys like to see? I believe the pros have the UTV Pro. Is that the one that has the most? Speaking of UTVs, we're going to have a little surprise for you guys the rest of the day. Uh, starting the next hour, we have a special guest coming over here. So we're going to have uh, somebody helping us out with some commentary. And let's just say that they know a thing or two about the UTV class. So you, UTV guys, make sure you tune in next hour for the or next hour update at uh, 2 o'clock. we got a little surprise for you guys. So the 1900s, let's see. Looks like the 1941 Brock Smith, that looks like it's the first... 1900 that I see. Um, these are all mixed in here. So we got 18s and 19s. I guess they both run the same uh, the same class, huh? With two different sets of numbers. Maybe somebody uh, who's familiar with UTVs more than I am would uh, be able to know that there. But they're all mixed in there. Let's see. So yeah, it's, the UTVs are definitely off the line, but there's not much to tell you yet because they're all kind of still bunched up. So the 1941, uh, Brock Smith definitely has a little bit of a lead on all the rest of them. Let's see, what other UTV class is there? Let's look at, uh, the map takes a little bit to load today. Uh, the turbo class, I think there's a lot of those. So let's look at the turbos. Where are they at? Let's see, it's loading. If it loads, there we go. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of the turbo class. So the nine car, so the 969, you got Logan is out front. Then it looks like the 918, Justin Lambert is in second. And then Brandon Sims is in third. Some familiar names there, huh? So uh, those three guys have a little bit of a gap back to the rest of these guys. And then a whole bunch more back here. So, wow, yeah, there's a ton of UTVs in this race. And uh, in the next couple hours coverage, we'll get into UTVs more. So I'll save UTVs for the next couple hours of coverage. Uh, we got some more time splits coming in for you guys right now. So here's the uh, physical time splits. 
at uh, pit five. So I'll just read these off real quick. So pit five, it was Bryce in first. Then second, it was CJ. CJ was two minutes and 40 seconds back. Then it was Lofton in third. He was five minutes back, or four minutes back, sorry, four minutes back. Then it was, uh, who was next? Three, four, Rob. Rob Mack was five and a half minutes back. So Rob Mack lost some time. Maybe he has a pit strategy going on. I don't, I'm not sure what Rob Mack's doing, or he had a bit of a problem. But uh, we'll see what happened to Rob Mack. He was in the pit and definitely lost some time. So that was your top five running order at pit five. We will uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But once again, if you didn't catch it earlier, Bryce Menzies is now the first car on the road. Uh, CJ Hutchins is the second car on the road. And then it's a big cluster from there back. We got Lofton. We got Andy. We got the number four with Josh Daniel. We got the uh, number 31, yeah, Andy McMillan. We have Justin Lofton's tracker's not working, so that's cool. So we'll definitely keep an eye on those guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more updates for you guys, some more split times. Um, pit six, I don't know if we're going to have anybody there, but it's pretty much going to be the same as five. And then they go out kind of in the middle of nowhere for a little bit. So we'll definitely keep you guys updated. Tune in again at two o'clock. We're going to have a special guest for you guys. We've got somebody that knows a little bit about the UTV class coming in. So tune back in at two o'clock and keep an eye on the page. We just updated some videos. I got some more videos to upload right now. So go look at the page in a few minutes.